Let's think about emergence for African Americans in support of all Americans. Number one, it's important for African Americans, in particular African American leadership, in coordination with all Americans, to understand this relationship between effectiveness and issues of diversity. And also to understand that our initiatives to support emergence must be anchored in examining assumptions about effectiveness. Examining assumptions about effectiveness. Now, let me take you through to show you a way that we can examine assumptions about effectiveness. As a part of my work, I teach at George Washington University in Northern Virginia, George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia, and I teach graduate education courses and research in other areas. And when I start my classes with my students, many times I'll ask the question, I'll ask a question, I'll say to my students, consider the idea of thinking and its importance for students to learn, to grow, to move into their careers. And we can think of the importance for African American students or other students from quote minority groups. And I'll ask my students, my graduate students, to define thinking. Well, the answer I get to that question from my graduate students is similar in structure and in nature to the answer I get to a question that I've asked thousands of educators when I've asked them to define comprehension. My graduate students will answer my question about thinking with terms such as, well, it's higher order information processing. Uh, it's metacognition. Uh, creativity. The many educators I've talked with will come back and give me an answer to the question about comprehension and they'll say, well, it really means to get a grasp on something. It really means to reach an understanding. Now, these concepts as answers are certainly of value, but what is missing are the specific terms, the means by which we implement these concepts and service to students. And there's significant implications as we talk about trying to, to close achievement gaps, increase educational opportunity for students, black, white, what have you, preparing all students for the 21st century challenges. We must understand the importance of operationally defining the terms we're trying to address, the phenomena, the constructs, the concepts. Because as we begin to define those operationally, we provide a basis for taking the action, the follow through, to make these things happen for our young people. Now, let me give you two illustrations. And again, this is significant for African American emergence, African American leadership. Let me give you two illustrations. Let's go back to thinking. Consider for me your definition of thinking and consider the importance of thinking in the school as a part of the mission of the school and ask yourselves, what is my definition? What is my view of a thinking school? Recognizing this to be important for all students as we move into the 21st century. Let me share with you my image of the thinking school. It was there. There we go. What we have as the thinking school is the possibility school from no child left behind to every child gets ahead. Now you like that one, huh? This is a model 
that I and my colleagues, Dr. Robert Kirkhoff, Dr. Andrew Griffin, and others have been developing, derived from the models of Dr. Robert Kirkhoff. The purpose of the school is to expand the capacity of learners to process information. It's a generativity. So when presented with information, they have the capacity to think that through and create new responses. New responses. The school accomplishes or provides this increased learning capacity by building with a set of learner functions. It starts with recognizing the SR conditioning or memorization required of students. Building to add on those opportunities where students can discriminate or apply their knowledge repertoire. Building from that to expanding the capacity of the learner to process the information. These functions are accomplished through instructional processes that involved educators acquiring, using, and teaching directly to students operationally defined processes for thinking that we have labeled here the new three R's, relating, representing, and reasoning. And as educators begin to implement these processes, they can work with the traditional curriculum components, math, science, social studies, English, transform them into the foundation upon which the educator and the, and, and the students interact to enhance increased learning, learner capacity to process information. 